Good morning, all. It's Saturday, and it's a beautiful, kind of cold morning, but it's going to heat up really bad. So I'm taking advantage of it, and I'm talking to you. Got my two sons both here this weekend. Excuse me, and just going to have a relaxing, quiet weekend. We really had a busy weekend. Last weekend going to BC, the week was busy. Everything's been busy. A quick update, my foot's doing much better. I go Tuesday to a specialist to see uh, whether the cast should be changed or not and how the healing's going because they think it's going faster than it should maybe because of the CBD I'm on. So this should be interesting. Uh, update on my life, I've already started my bankruptcy procedures. Uh, I won't get into details, but I'm on the road to change. I'm on the road to things being back to something I can handle, you know? So peace and cheers to all. Now, what's today? Today brought to you by Med THC Ontario. He asked, what about cannabis and sports? This is becoming an issue. And I think it is, and I don't know the answer, but it's worth a discussion to everybody. Because there's two ways cannabis can be used in sports. Cannabis is a medicine. It is without doubt a medicine. The Supreme Court of Canada in 2015, with some, in I need a shower, with some incredible science behind it, the Supreme Court issued a decree that cannabis in all its forms when prescribed is a medicine and thereby is our right under the right the charter of rights and freedoms in canada we have the right to it so if you're a sports figure and you hurt yourself uh, you get a broken bone like me very definitely my broken bone is showing anecdotal, yes, but still real, that a broken bone heals faster and better with CBD. And the pain is less and the swelling is less and the return to normal life is quicker. So if you were a sports figure and you broke your bone and you knew about cannabis, you'd probably choose CBD. And with most CBD, you'll get some THC. And if you want the CBD to do correctly, you will have some THC. And you're going to have pain with that break, so you're going to need some THC. The CBD will keep the high squished into a very manageable euphoria, just like almost any other painkiller. So what's the issue? Well, the issue is if you don't have pain and you just smoke cannabis before a game, it'll do one of two things. It'll fuck your game right up or it's going to give you the best game you ever had. So that's the argument from others, from the people who don't like me medical cannabis, is that you can use as a performance improvement drug which should be banned. And that's the difficulty. Where do you say somebody's using it for improvement, somebody's using it for pain? Well, first of all, I'd have to say, and I welcome comments below, I don't necessarily agree it's good for improvement. Sure, when I was a young boy, I played a lot of flag football. A lot of flag football, which really turned out into quite a bit of touch football. Um, and I gotta tell you, most of the time growing up, we'd have some kind of weed. It never helped my game. It, oh, maybe once or twice out of the 30 times it would make me play better, but that's just because I got into a zone and I don't know if the marijuana helped me get into the zone or if I just happened to fit into the zone that day. I don't think it's an improvement. I don't think it's consistently an improvement in things. When you get high, if you're just getting high to get high, um, the high is different depending on the day, the time of day, the strain, the, the mood, and then how it expresses itself changes regularly too because of many different things. So it's not very consistent as a euphoric device to 
improve your abilities in anything. Um, I'd say it doesn't decrease your abilities. I wouldn't say it improves them. I'd say it just changes them a little bit, makes you think a little differently, makes you feel a little differently. I, most of the time, got high throughout my entire career. It never improved my work. It never hurt my work. It was just a way to keep myself from stressing out during the day. So again, medically. So I don't have a lot of experience recreationally, except for when I was really young. Most of my life I've been using it to get rid of the, the nerves. I was always in a very difficult field with big timelines, with, with distinct ends where, oh, here's a milestone. By this day, you've got to have this. A lot of stress all my life, all my life. I was also dispatching for trucking industries and stuff like that. So it was always stressful, and it helps relieve the stress. That's medical, but is that performance improvement? That's between all of us. We don't know. Someday this will be attacked and attacked properly. I say if you're a sports personality and you've got pain, you're not going to get high from, from your medicine, so I don't think it's going to improve you. If you are not currently under a medical condition that requires cannabis and you're taking it, you're taking it for performance improvement, whether or not that's going to work. Let's see what you think, hey? Peace and cheers. Love and harmony. Maybe a weedy weekend tomorrow. Certainly going to try. Peace and cheers. Love and harmony.